Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, I'm Lucas and I'm joined tonight by Anna and Christian. Good evening. What up? Hey. So, uh, Randall wants to know where Raul is at, Anna. Do you have uh, Raul? Um, probably wherever they sell the Masterpiece version of the figure in the box. Uh, I, I wasn't Wait, sure the if that's the uh <laughs> right yeah because we're doing the masterpiece version of track oh yes right, right? so i should have a mini raul to go with my mini oh. masterpiece i was with you randall well like the slug people that um whoever the person is is creating those for the to go with unicron <laughs> like it seems like they should make like little people slugs too that'd be really cool i'd buy a pack of those yeah, I might too. It'd be real tempting. I, I probably wouldn't. I would consider it and then just not. Yeah, I definitely I would, especially wouldn't if they mind. Gave me. So we had a whole line that ran for years of Lego like Transformers products. And they didn't just produce the humans as minifigures. One. There was one. Was there one? Because it came out with the club. We have a GB Blackrock figure from Creo. Oh, cool. <clears throat> I didn't even know that existed. Yeah, he came with, uh, they call him Car Zap, but his name's Zap. That would be cool. And it came with a little, he, was a, he came with a little gas pump, GB Blackrock, because it was based on the Blocktown deco of that figure. See, I've always thought it would be cool to have, like, you know, just, uh, just a Lego person of Spike and various humans. I want that slug pack as long as they'll give me Astoria Carlton Ritz. She's the Probably ultimate. if they were to pick, you know, a dozen humans, she'd be in it. Right. There's only so many humans, right? <clears throat> right. So we are talking about a vessel for humans. In fact, the world's first flying car. You will believe cars fly. Maybe. Maybe. We are Maybe. talking about tracks from the Transformers Kingdom line. Ooh, mm -hmm. we finally have uh, our, our little mini masterpiece here. So you say. Let's so get into say. it. Yeah. So I have tracks in the mode that I've always found amusing since I was a child, which is car sprouts arms, arms have weeds, car goes fly. Your normal car that you drive doesn't, doesn't do that? Um, Not yet. Not yet. Trying it's to work totally on it. It's a normal car feature. So I think the the correct configuration is just throwing all the accessories in this port on the back, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just need to shove his little misslers and then shove this gun madoodle. He's got the fins on the back too. Carmo does look good. Or the, the flying mode. The flying mode doesn't look too bad. I mean, Yeah, it, let me put the arms works. away. The flying mode's okay. Like, I if you've works. ever followed tracks, toys, they always put in the flying mode. It's tradition. Right. It's not to be taken seriously. No. It, and it's you know, fine. They throw it in there, and that, you know what, it's, it's nice. Good for them. Even in the halfway decent masterpiece version of tracks. Still, the flying mode is exactly this. It's just you yeah, pull the arms yeah. out from under the figure, and you spread out the wings, and bam, it is flying car. Whoosh. And that's all you get. <laughs> and it's fine. It totally works. Audience in the comments, tell us which tracks figure does not have a flying car mode. There's only one, as far as I know. Ooh. And then Trivia. both of tell us why. So here's car mode without. And, and yeah, I I really love the car mode. Car mode. Yeah. When I got it to car mode, I was like, ooh, this is a good looking little car. Like, I mean, I'm not into cars. I don't really care what type of car it is and that sort of stuff. But it's a nice looking little toy car. You know, they actually, you're not going to have to go buy hubcaps. You're not going to have to go buy anything special. Some people don't like the way the um, flames on the front look. 
They have different I'm, ways. The I'm one of those, the front but that's are accurate. Cartoon accurate. Yeah. yeah, that's right. that's the thing is, is that ironically enough, like this is the most cartoon accurate tracks we've gotten at least in car mode so yeah i will probably switch to the other flames just because i think they're neater but i've always preferred a combination of source material for my where will you get these version. other flames from probably from reaper labels we can just find them laying on the ground until you burn the figure they don't they haven't released them yet no he's suggesting he would get a sticker upgrade uh, kit to uh, add the flames, yeah. which is always I, an option i'll bet that uh, Toy Hacks is going to make stickers. Oh, us. yeah. J- just It'll so. happen. You know, one but thing I don't I like am... it needs it. It's not like yeah. missing that detail. Yeah. It's it's really, it's, it's t- coming down to my choice on that one. That's that's all. Um, One thing, though, is, is the fact that this car isn't licensed. It's actually, like, pretty close to the oh, actual car model. So I, I'm actually somewhat surprised. Like, it looks like a Corvette. I'm assuming they didn't license it, but I mean, maybe no, they, there's I nothing have, on the box. There's no size. evidence. Oh, okay. So yeah, it doesn't have the Corvette symbols on it. Yeah. It's, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's a really good little car. Like I said, when I got it transformed, I thought this actually looks like a, a real car and B, you know, a good toy car at the same time. And the fins on the back are just dying to come out. You know, you look at those and you're like, this car would be cooler with pointless fins. So oh, yeah. you're going to pull them out even if you're not in flight mode, just because they're amusing. But it's a fun little thing. My only complaint with it, and this is going to um, transpose the entire figure, is that on mine, at least, the two sides of the front end of the car continuously like to pop out a little bit. And I have to continuously push them back in. And it's just like, um, it's just a battle of attrition. You know, if I if I leave the car sitting around, there's going to be that little gap between the windshield and the side of the car. I'm going to push it back in. It'll look fine for a few minutes. Nature will happen. It'll spread again. See, and I, I'll keep I doing that know. forever. I wonder if you have like a QC issue with yours. Because mine doesn't, I, I, I don't recall like i mean i have him in um his robot mode right now i don't recall the gaps on mine being like that bad mine are like that okay well yeah mine are this bad i just don't remember so i went around just to see you know do other people have these same issues and a lot of other people seem to have some similar issues and then some people just plain don't like, Lucas seems to have almost none of the issues I do, whereas, like, I've seen other people well, who've had it as bad as me. I have one I have one issue. We'll bring it up here later in the... Oh, very uh, soon, I'm thing, sure. But... but, yeah, Catherine mentioned that it looked bad on camera. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad in hand. But if you're like me and you feel like your car mode should be, you know, mostly seamless, then you're going to find yourself just continuously going in and fixing it. Like, every time I look at it, I'm like, I gotta push this back in. Push, click, and then a couple of minutes later, gotta push this back in. <laughs> it's just, like, this constant fight with myself. But, honestly, everything else about the car mode looks really nice. Like, that's my one I mean, complaint. I do want to give props to Hasbro as well for finally painting the wheels on the tires. Yeah! Uh, thing, like... It, it annoyed me so much, oh, you know, for so many years where they would just, you know, give us these straight black tires and it would just look crappy and so this actually looks like a mini masterpiece as i will continue to say throughout the entire episode good 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 i need we need like um you know how a lot of like big streamers will make like emotes for their chats we need a mini masterpiece (laughs) lucas emote for people to (laughs) for people to never look at again so the question is, Anne, are you actually going to uh, try to transform him back to his oh, robot mode? I am, my friend. Oh, look at you. I am. Because I just transformed him like twice a few minutes ago. So surely I could oh, do it at this point, right? You, you right? would think, right? You would think. So, so my biggest complaint about the figure in general is um, the transformation. And not... So the figure is very complex. Um, and that's not like, I actually enjoy that. It's the fact that half of this car, like the entire backpack is, um, is painted clear plastic. 
and it scares the crap out of me. Um, so like, and there's a reason for fear because you can see like right there, you can see the stress mark forming are online. Are you getting stress like, it, marks? It's gonna happen. Like you're gonna get stress marks, and they're gonna come through because it's clear plastic. So his little backpack here. So you have to like move this part up. Oop. You have to like move this part up, and then when you actually like transform the car, you have to like shove this thing into the like hood, like, and like it real scares shove. the like crap out of you. Force. Yeah, like, like real it's not shove. Delicate, like real shove. Yeah, not like pretend shove. I mean, to shove, I'm able to do with just my thumb. I was testing it earlier just to see how much actual force I had to put in. So it's not as scary as some of the light. Like we were talking in the Discord about um, X pants earlier and how you have to like get a freaking pair of pliers out to undo those leg parts. It's not that bad, but it is a shove that's uncomfortable because it will make a snapping, popping sound. And yeah. you will find yourself checking the entire <laughs> finger for cracks every time you do it. So, I mean, I'll say that the this underneath part is actually pretty thick. So like I I think this should be okay. Um, that it's probably not. I mean you know who knows it could break. Um, but well, how yeah, does it it's compare probably to be the fine. reveal the shield tracks? I can't even remember. Yeah, it's better. The problem I had a bunch of issues with reveal the shield tracks, but if we want to talk about vehicle mode specifically, that vehicle mode felt really flat and squished to me mm -hmm. uh, this looks like an actual car and looks like actual tracks so i definitely like right. that more in addition i always had issues with the legs popping off at the ball joints maybe that was a qc thing on mine 10 years ago but uh this doesn't do that because they're pinned which is very good um i, I can't see a reason to keep the reveal a shield mold for any characters yeah. that, that we used it ever <clears throat> we have a better Aww. wheel jack, we have better tracks, we have better battle chargers, we have a better road rage slash shatter glass tracks on the way. Was so, um was Warpath part of Reveal of Shield? He was not. He okay. was in generations right before Reveal Re the Shield. Okay. Got it. Yes. Yes. He's just one I would argue that you should keep because it's so different. Yes, Warpath I think you should keep. But yeah, Reveal the Shield tracks any of the usage of that mold don't you don't need to keep unless you just really like it i don't know i keep in wheeljack because it looks cool with the reaper labels i put on it but yeah. i got rid of my battle chargers i got rid of tracks so i think i got rid of shadow glass tracks I don't know. were the battle chargers were those that exclusive they were they were club exclusive that's what i thought okay so, go ahead you guys guy, can start talking um, about the robot i, I, I was just gonna say that um it just surprised me, like, how high the parts count is on this figure. And the transformation is actually somewhat involved. Um, you know, I, I think that when they called this a mini masterpiece, I, I would guess that that's kind of like what they're referring to. Because I, I was just surprised. Like, at for, for the price point, it has, there's a lot of paint on it. Like I said, like, all this clear, <coughs> you know, is, is painted here. Um, there. You know, with the, the tampos and whatnot, the paint on this, like the paint on the wheels. Like, I mean, it feel, I mean, to be honest, like, you know, this doesn't feel as good as like the um, hot rod figure. But it, like, I don't know, like I almost feel like that this, you know, they charge Voyager pricing for that. Um, you know, I, I would actually think this is close. So I don't know if like, you know again like we've talked about like waves and and whatever and how they kind of price yeah. it out of, over the waves i don't know if wing finger or something like that got the short you know end or um wing finger is definitely missing a lot of paint did this does this come with wheel jack this wave yes i think wheel jack is in this way so maybe the fact that they like threw a uh, a repack or whatever in it like helped out with yeah, the cost i don't know it's tracks and wing finger and scorponok and wheeljack yeah so um so as far as this figure the qc is a little is a little rough as far as the like my legs are a little bit loose and i don't know are yours loose christian like the at the hips how about it, yours, Lucas? Give him a shake. 
Oh, all right. Because mine <laughs> are really bad. So a mine, little bit on that one. Wow. Mine, mine are, are loose, like, if he's just in straight standing mode. Like, as soon as you put his leg up, it's fine. But, like, if it's just... It, yeah, like, somehow mm -hmm. down here. But... I was thinking of just putting a little bit of future Take just like in that right here to Yeah, that probably that solid. Despite us calling this a mini masterpiece, this is not perfect to me. I've got some concerns. Um, I really didn't like his original promo pictures because he looked very stocky. He's a bit better in hand, but still pretty stocky. I mean, in the show, he's a kind of a live looking skinny tall character, and he's not that here i also don't like that this giant backpack um, of a masterpiece it sits really close to Trax's back on the kingdom figure it can't go it can't collapse any more than this like it just feels like it's way too much above his head here maybe mm -hmm. that's just a personal preference thing but it it sticks out and it's like mm, can you can you be more spelt? i don't know i mean i actually thought it was fine like i did I don't, know. I, I don't really have a lot of complaints with the figure. I mean, especially at the deluxe price point. Like, I, I actually kind of enjoy it. I think it looks pretty decent. Good. For... The backpack over the head thing, Christian, actually made me look up pictures of cartoon tracks to see if that was right. Because I was like, it's too high. This is annoying. And I started looking it up and I realized that actually sometimes he's drawn as if his head is actually in that fixture. So you know what? It could be worse. Yeah, I guess it could be worse. Um, so I noticed that Lucas has his missiles on the back. I, this doesn't do it for me, really. Like, this is not a beautiful thing. I do like the individual missiles the MP has, of yeah. course. Like, I mean, of course, those are, those are smaller, easier to lose, require more ports. That helps. Lucas, that helps. Thank you. It really does look better like that. It looks better like that. Missiles. Because when they're just a missile hat on top, it doesn't look very good. That helps with some of, like, it feels like all of his height is above his head, which doesn't make any sense. It's just kind of off-putting. <laughs> so if you put that in the back, you feel like he can have it swing down in a yeah. better looking way yeah. than it actually does. His hand weapon is actually really cool. It's the, his, uh, what is it, the black beam gun? And uh, it's it's on model. Looks good. Yeah, he, it's a nice looking little gun. I will say that, you know, if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of gaps, the gaps in the lower arms don't show up too bad in most posing. But if you look too hard, you realize that he actually has, you know, portals all the way through his arms. And that is something that's just like awkward. But it doesn't yeah. bother me as much as I thought it would. Like when I first saw the promo I mean, pics, I, and I was it's... like, it goes all the way through. Ooh. I think it would be hard to do a figure like this without any gaps i mean he, the mask yeah had a little bit of a gap i mean that is so i think you're putting the extra holes in there to accommodate skeleton people i think is the issue here and it's yeah it's not horrible but it's also not great i wish it wasn't there yeah i do i'm too. not mad that it is there but i wish it wasn't yeah it's just weird like it, like you said, if it's there to accommodate skeleton people or if it's there to accommodate extra weapons or there to accommodate accessories, there's a reason. But otherwise, it feels unnecessary, you know, because it's just like here's a hole in his arm. He'd look better without it. We have a lot of figures with these five millimeter ports and all that, uh, you know, so yeah. you can throw weapons on them and whatnot. I don't mind it. Yeah, uh, but personally. there's a five millimeter port that doesn't go all the way through a piece. Right, yeah. I was going to say, it can be a divot instead of a straight-up hole to the other side. That's Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. And it looks better if it's a yeah. divot. But like he I said, have... like, it bothers me less than I thought it would. I thought that was really going to bug me. Shoulder launchers, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I, I, I put his gun up better. here. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so I think if you wanted to say is, is like replace with the, that with bigger missiles. With, with the legs, too. I mean, the legs are solid. You know, like, well, I mean, other than the ankles, but like, I'm saying that there's no gaps. Like, it's not oh, like that they threw oh, okay. gaps in the back of the legs, you know, because I, like, I know, Anna, that you are annoyed with like the wheel jack or whatever, where, you know. Yeah. So that right there is 
the biggest problem with the figure that I've had that Christian is showing. It's those side parts of the car that attach to make the side of his legs. And I haven't held Lucas's version of the figure, but he says it holds tight. See, okay, mine, so here... Mine slides right out. See, if you... It, like, I'm applying pressure to this, and it's not moving. Like, I cannot apply pressure. So, like, that's the thing is, is that I think that there's a QC difference. And that's where, when you're sitting there arguing with people online, and they're like, oh, Trax is totally fine. And then you're like, no, it's a floppy mess. You know, I think it's totally just dependent on the QC that you have for the individual figure. Yes, and I was just demonstrating, pantomiming, if you will, that this side, now that I've made sure to peg in the, uh, the shin plate, there's a, a tab behind it, this side is more secure now. Uh, I can still move it if I wanted to, but this side is not very secure at all. Like, the tab barely touches the slot it's supposed to get to. It's not really even a full tab, and I think they could have made it a tab even better. It's more like a little nub, like a resting point. Right. And it really should have been a fully formed tab to hold those pieces in place. As illustrated, dumb, so. yeah. as illustrated by the silly jump kick that I put him in for today's picture, I really like to pose my figures. I like to pose them in animated, fun ways. And in the posing process, every time I move his darn legs, these come loose every time. Like, I just touched his leg, and it's like, ooh, let's move this. And yeah. one of the main reasons that bugs me so much is his foot's attached to it. Yeah. So in trying to pose, it can be really annoying. And it's almost like, by design, this is clearly going to happen, because really the port for them to go together is just this little tiny notch on the side. And there's yeah. just a little tiny hole on the side for it to rest in. It doesn't yeah, really even it, pop it. It just kind of rests there. It's not there. a tab. Yeah. yeah. Resting point. Nub. It's not, it's not a real tab. And, it probably should And been. The, the thing is, is like, I'm sure if you transform your figure a lot, it, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's going to wear down over time. And so even if you have a, a stronger copy like mine, you know, eventually it'll wear out. Probably. So you just have to be like me and just don't transform your figure more than a couple of times. You'll be fine. I would be interested to see if they fix that with Road Rage. Like, if they designed it and it was yeah. fine, and they, you know, produced it and it was not fine, so they fixed it for Road Rage. Well, I feel sure. like Ironhide was kind of like that. Like, the Siege Ironhide, those flaps. Mm -hmm. Like, the, mine was, was pretty rough. Like, there was, like, mold flash in it. Uh, and so then they would pop off and you transformed it. Um, and I feel like subsequent versions were better. Yeah, Just like Catherine just said, by the fifth version, this will be fine. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that'll be Loud Pedal, right? That's three, but yeah. Ooh, yeah. I want a loud pedal. I still have I want a loud pedal. Of course you do. MP one. It's like one of the oh, people I have left. I totally think like that would be unfortunately that's a really weird mistake on this figure. It's, it's just like we don't usually get little tiny nubs that rest instead of tabs. Usually we get yeah. tabs. Sometimes we get dangerously small tabs that are kind of like, you know, worrisome. But we always get tabs, so it's just a strange, it's a strange thing on this figure that makes it less fun for me to play with. But as far yeah. as, like, the look of the figure, you know, if you get these damn things pegged in, pegged in rested in their ride, and you pose them real nice, he's one of the best posing tracks we've ever had. Like, I almost feel like it's easier to get him into nice poses than it is my MP. I only have the MP Road Rage, though, so it's not really, like, a straight I mean, comparison. Anna to be honest, like, I think you should switch yours out. Like when you, if you see it, you know, like whatever, like get another one, buy another one and return this one. Like, cause I, yeah. I just feel like it, it seems like, again, the, the, my copy is not that bad. So. Yeah. Your copy seems better. Christian's copy seems mixed. I know, like I said, I read a few people's reviews online. Some people, were just as upset with as I was. Yeah. Now, those same people were upset about the complexity of the transformation. And it's funny because Lucas was saying, you know, this is a really complex figure. It's got high parts count. It's really nice. And for me, someone who often struggles with more complicated toy transformations, he's one of the easy ones. Like, he's intuitive, easy to put together, snaps together easy. The only thing is that it's eventually going to explode. But, you know... <laughs> On his way there. I like it. I just don't understand how 
you have problems with uh, Make Toys Jazz, but right, this one, this one is is easy for you. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think again. I mean, it's you know, I, I was able to do it without the instructions, but like, it's not. It's a re, it's still a retail figure. But I'm just saying, it's one of the most complex deluxes that we've had. Yeah, and and I get that. I just don't feel it. Like to me, it doesn't feel any more complex than anything else. But maybe I'm not yeah. comparing it to the right stuff. Who knows? You know, I've been what I've been playing with mostly for the last couple of days have been my magical Henshin girls from Big Firebird, and those are you know complex third party figures that transform into things that kind of resemble vehicles. So you know, that's a different world to be in if you've been mostly playing with deluxes from Hasbro. Maybe he is on the complex side. Right. I have been playing with Weenfinger, but Weenfinger is its own bag of bones to deal with. Unfortunately, my Weenfinger's um, head is so loose that if you turn it upside down, the head just falls off. Yeah, I think I just need to send you my fossilizers. I made the bone golem. I accomplished the goal. And I'm ready to let them go. I'm really thinking of making a bone spider out of lean finger. So well, the second can, I saw that thing. You can get mine and be one step closer. One step closer. I'd be halfway there. There's a few legs. So two. Yeah. Can, can we all just send our fossilizers to Anna? Just weed finger. She can make some monstrosity. Yeah, see, I don't I think would, I'm going to get wing finger. I, He's the best uh, of the three molds. That's not saying much, but he is. Yeah. I really like it, but we'll get into that on another show when we talk about more yeah. undead toys. So yeah. the ankles are on ball joints for this figure. However, are. mine are pretty decently tight. Um, I haven't really had any issues with I mean, I'm sure they'll probably wear out eventually, but... That, I mean, that's the thing with ball joints. They do wear out eventually. You add floor polish to it. You wear them out again. You add floor polish to it. It's something we've been doing since Beast Wars. Yeah. It's harder when it comes to these pen and ratchet joints, like in the legs. When those are loose, that's way harder to deal with. Yeah, I agree. You know, mine started wibble wobbly. So we'll see where they go. We'll see where his hips are in a couple of years. I guess um, the only other thing I had that kind of stood out to me is that when I was playing with them, I immediately was reminded of Hoist when I noticed that the weeds are literally attached to his shoulders. And I realized how much less it bothers me with tracks than it did with Hoist. Yeah. With, with Hoist, I, think I hated it. the wings it. are the same way on the... Ma is it the same way on the Masterpiece? I can't remember. I believe they're a separate part. Are they? I think they're attached to the... Uh backpack yeah 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 i think you can move the arms without moving the wings and that just means that you know if you pose his arm facing forward the wing goes away you know it goes down it goes behind him which should tracks be able to move his arm independent of his wing maybe who really cares <laughs> it's not like he flies with these in robot mode but he does not they're just cool they're just cool and who needs to be cool when you're reaching forward Chuck's does. Um, so, I mean, the thing that does impress me about this figure, though, is just the deco. Um, I, yeah. mean, I think that the um, the head looks really good. The face is so cool. Head. It's a really good head. Like the face, yeah. Let's say, for some reason, it's a little dark tonight, but my my face, yours is blurry, Anna. I know. I know my um, camera quality is poop. But, like, the face looks really nice. It's like a really... Um, you know, it, it's painted really well. Like it just comes across really well. Like, so that's really nice. I think the paint on the actual figure is really nice. Like, you know, yeah. the, the paint on the arm, um, the paint on the chest. Um, I mean, it's a, the, you know, the faux chest like piece, like it's painted. I, it's just like, I think overall, this is just a, I mean, a mini masterpiece, right? I could never see myself buying toy hacks for this one. Like, yeah. as far as, like, getting the labels for a toy, like, I really don't do that ever. But sometimes when I look at a toy, I'm like, oh, I need to spend 10 bucks and get stickers for this damn thing. It right. doesn't look good. 
I I wouldn't even know where to start with tracks. Like, where do I need to put stickers? Like, something on the lean? I don't know. I really don't see them needing to go anywhere. So, yeah, I agree. The deco is really good. The face is fantastic. And Lucas would call us a mini masterpiece if he were here. And he is. So he has. <laughs> No, I mean, I think for me, like, I would prefer the, um, the more of the toy look in car mode, but, like, I'm probably going to keep them in robot mode most of the time, so I just don't yeah. care that much. Yeah, those yeah. flames are on the back of his legs. You know, you're never going to see him if you don't have him displayed in car mode. Yeah, and his robot mode looks really nice. Really good. Yeah, you're, you're right. I probably won't need to get that set because of what you just said. It's also why I haven't gotten the labels for um, Wheeljack, Smokescreen, and Jazz. Because how often do I pay attention to their racing numbers when they're in bot mode? I don't. I just got the set for um, G2 Sideswipe, and I, I don't know. I might kind of regret it, because those also make more of an impact in car mode than they do in robot mode. And yeah. it's going to make me sag. It's such great green details. And it used to mean reason. a lot to me that it could do it. And then once I realized that, you know, that same philosophy applies to all the weird masterpiece accessories that come around, like, they, they use this in one frame of one episode, here's the right. thing, like, I don't care. I'd rather them not include that and it'd be cheaper. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, maybe I don't need that. We'll see. I'm oh, some of it. those details are really fun, because that, that cassette sure deck on the, on the ship for the Ravage that's coming, that is... I do like that one. That is really fun. I don't know. I mean, back in the day, like Combiner Wars and whatnot, I had to get stickers for those things. Like, I did too. It just bothered me too much not to get them uh, just because they didn't put paint on them and whatnot. But, I like, just didn't now, buy the toys. It's good enough. It's one solution. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, I looked yeah, at it and I was like, ooh. I don't think I've bought Reaper labels for anything post Power of the Primes yeah. except to make Auto Troopers. I made Auto Troopers. I got that conversion set. Other than that, I don't. I don't think I've gotten anything. It makes me sad. I really like Rupert labels. I should patronize yeah. them some more. No. I got this nice, really big set in the mail recently. This will fix. This will fix my Megatron conundrum. There you go. One, one of my two Megatrons will you. soon look different than the other one. And maybe I can stop yelling at myself for having two. I will need to buy a set of Shadow Glass Autobot symbols, I believe, so I can use the Road Rage as, well, Road Rage, and I'll buy a second one to be Shadow Glass Tracks. I'm going to buy two of them because I'm a crazy person, and that's okay. That's why you guys Is this figure good show. enough for that? Like, like, are you really going to, are you going to regret it? Are you going to be like, oh, I bought two of this kind of meh figure? No. It's not. Like, I don't think it's meh. I do think it's in the bottom 50% of Kingdom. I but. mean, I, I do think, though, it's easier for me to justify, like, another figure that's a deluxe than it is, like, a leader figure. Like, that T-Rex figure that went up for Target. Like, I was like, you know, I just don't, I don't really like it, and I just don't feel like I can justify it, so. Don't get me started on Shattered Glass Jet Fire. Oh. Uh, the thing broke man. me. Oh, I bought uh, <laughs> I, I got, I have it. I have another order right me. now. So. I did not. I I have decided to to go ahead and refund my shattered glass toys and just oh. be out on it. I just couldn't. I can't completely? do it. I can't do wait, it. Wait, wait, I might wait, wait. You're still. not the completionist. Why? Why are you out on all the rest just because of that one? Because I realized that the I realized I actually have the same problem with all of it. Like I'm not really adding enough to my life of getting to play with different toys by getting yeah. those repaints. And I don't have the oh, attachment yet. Now, what might happen, unfortunately, is because comics will come out and I will read them one way or another, I may gain attachment to Shattered Glass characters and regret my decision in the future. Yeah. I've been attached to Shattered Glass for 13 years, so... Right, and I that makes that. a lot more sense. You know, like... Sometimes you just got to kind of like look at yourself and say, wait, do I have any attachment to that character? Why am I buying it? If I already have the mold, I've had the fun of playing with it. And, and sometimes this week we all buy things that we have zero attachment to, but they're just quirky anyway. 
all three of us, all three of us bought that J Balvin Soundwave thing. But it's it looks like an old KO. It's so weird. We all That's bought it. That's my attachment. I look, love Soundwave. Look forward to an episode of Micro Casters in stuff. October. Ugh. Now, okay, now go back so and analyze weird. this. Realize that Christian is the only one with a healthy response to this. He admits that we bought something ridiculous. Whereas I try to rationalize it as a KO collector. Yeah, it was Lucas ridiculous. tries to rationalize it as a sound wave lover. Really? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I like weird looking stuff, so. It's quirky enough to join my collection, but oof. I don't it's know. got a huge quirk factor. But I also I, bought I, T-Rex and Jetfire because I love all the things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not know. attached to T-Rex, so I skipped him too. Yeah, I'm still deciding. I just didn't like that deco on T-Rex. Like, I think if it looked more accurate to the uh, original toy, I might have gotten it. But I don't know. I just It just did not impress me. And again, for whatever it was, 50, 60 bucks, whatever. Uh, I don't know. I did not need it in my life. It looks better than T Roxanne or whatever the JP, the Jurassic Park one is. Wait, I'm sorry. You think it looks better than the Jurassic Park one? Yeah. Oh, the Jurassic Park one looks fantastic. I'm excited. Nah. I think it's probably Jurassic Park, then T Rex, then normal Megatron. Like, as far as how cool you think they all look? Oh, no. I like the original Megatron. And then the mine is part. probably mine is probably T Rex, then original Megatron, then the Jurassic Park. I just don't like the way that looks at all. Like, are you talking dinosaur mode, or are we talking like? Oh, the mode? robot mode. Okay. The dinosaur modes, I think, all three are equal because they're just different color dinosaurs. They all look fun. Right. I just don't like the deco, but oh, yeah, I like it on all three for dinosaurs, but for the the robots, nah. Yeah. But we could talk Never about been. that forever, and we will next yeah, we'll time we we'll do a gosh darn Beast yeah. Wars Megatron repaint. I guess we won't do T Rex since I'm the only one with it. So we'll see you in November for Jurassic Park. Yeah, but as far as the tracks is concerned, um, you know, yeah. I think that even with the potential QC issues, <laughs> I think it's a pretty good figure. Like I like the look of him. Um, yeah, I'm happy I have him. Um, so, like, tracks really needed an update, and this is the update yeah. we've been waiting for. It's a recommendation for reservations for me. I'm gonna like, go with the same. I think that if you if you're a mixed collector like I am, and you only have one tracks, you're probably actually happy with the MP already. You probably don't need this. But if you've been looking to get a you know generation size version of tracks, this is good. I think it's very good. I just got some wibble wobbly legs. Yep, a little bit of issues here and there that we'll probably fix with later iterations. Who the, of the heck mold. is trying to decide between the masterpiece version and and this on individual characters? I like, do. I don't need to keep both. Like I, I feel like you are the only person that's like I. I could be a hundred percent wrong, and there might be some other people in the you know comments or whatever on the Discord that disagree with me. But like I. I don't know. To me, that it's like you're either all in on, you know, one or the other or whatever. Like, I, if I was collecting Masterpiece, I wouldn't bother, like... No, no, I bet at all. I just, like, my Road Rage is going to stay the MP and Trax is going to stay this one. And I, I care more about Road Rage than I do about Trax. <laughs> so I have the fancier figure for her. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I the masterpiece is, is definitely better than than this one, but like I think for a retail figure, better. that this yeah. is a good, it's a good figure. Did anyone answer my trivia question from earlier? No, no one even tried. No, no one even they tried. Did. They did in the chat. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, someone did yeah. say action master tracks. Yeah, it's cheating, but okay. Um, and then also, oh, did someone else answer? I thought so. Let's see. Maybe maybe they just said Action Master. Oh, and the Q Transformers. 
And then they, All right. uh, Eric, well, Eric said he can't remember if the Binaltech version or an alternator version had wings or not. That's, That's what the one. Is that what I was making an of? A because because I knew the answer. Yeah. That's the one, Eric. You you win the prize. Although I will give credit to Q Transformers and Action Masters because you're right. I just don't consider those to be actual Transformers. It didn't. It doesn't register in my brain. Is as... see anyway. So the alternate they, version. Yeah, is I was going to say. So three it people answered theoretically the had it, but yes. it didn't. It did not. Because do you want to answer the because? You want to answer it? No one tried that yet. Because it's licensed. In real life, Corvette Z06s do not have flight modes. Therefore, the alternator did not. I think that's a feeling of the company making the car, not the I toy. Agree. I agree, but Hasbro had to make GM happy on that one. But then why would the other ones not have wings? Like wh- One's an action master. Right, so you could still put the wings other on one, it. You could you put could. wings on it. Action masters are weird, man. I don't even know beginning of their logic. Q Transformers, it was probably remolded from something else. It probably yeah, shared that mold with like 15 with, different Q like, Transformers. Exactly. It's true. A billion other Q Transformers. So. There you go. There's, there's the fun fact of the evening. Congratulations, contest winners. You win internet points. Um, I was going to mention Book Club this week, or I'm sorry, Book, book Cult. Um, book it's Cult. Eight they're going to be watching animated episode four and then at nine o'clock central drift empire of the stone issues three and four. So those are central time. So add an hour for Eastern. You might recognize that transformers animated is not a book. I don't think that's a reason to be concerned though. Right? No, no. It just means that it just means that we're, we're changing a little bit as a group. (laughs) Hence the new name and hence the watching a cartoon first. Cool. It has been really cool because we actually have quite a few people in there who haven't seen animated at all. So they're just like, they're not only surprised by the plot line, they're surprised by the animation and by the fact that it's well animated. A lot of people kind of stopped it like, I don't like the style. But then when you watch it, you're like, ooh, this actually held up, you know. How animated many years old is show. it now? A hundred? Fifteen hundred? Thirteen. I know. It's actually held Same up age, those thirteen glass. years. As what? Shattered glass. Oh. But I mean, some 13 year old animation looks pretty crappy these days. And it doesn't at all. Yep. It's really held up. Anywho, come hang out with us. It's fun. Book club, cult, whatever you want to call it, it's great. Yep. Well, thank you guys. Uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Eric, Randall, Catherine, Ron, uh, Phil. And did I miss anyone else? Eric? You said Eric, I think. Yeah, I said Eric. So, but yeah, thank you guys. And um, I don't know, next week uh, we'll have to figure out, because Anna was wanting to do some weird stuff again. Uh, we'll we'll see. So we'll, we'll see what Anna we'll plans to do weird stuff. Anna has to learn the technology first, but she's going to try. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We'll see you.